Hello and welcome to the tutorial on addition. In this tutorial we will learn about number bonds to 500. Now in the previous tutorial we did number bonds to 100 and in earlier tutorials we did number bonds up to 10. Once you've mastered those this should be relatively straightforward. Okay let's have a look at an example. Suppose we have number 147 plus something equals 500. So what number added to 147, it's an addition question, will give us 500. Now there are more, there is more than one way to do this. Let's work through one particular example on how to do this. I'm just going to change colors. We're going to start with the units, okay? The units over here. 7 and 0. Now this 7, notice over here, has to become 0. We can't take away 7 because it's an addition question. The only way it can become 0 is if we add 3 to it, okay? So if we add 3, I'll just put the 3 over here, okay? This becomes 0. Okay, but by adding 3, we also are adding 1 over here, a 10. 7 plus 3 is 10, so this is where the 1 comes in. So now we've got a total on this side, and I'm going to change colors. We've got a total here of 5. Okay, we've got 5. And we have to get this 5 up to 0. So it's the same principle. What number added to 5 is going to give us 0? Well, we have to add 5. If we add 5, 5 plus 5 is 10. So this becomes 0, but we have to carry 1 across to the hundreds. Let's just change colors again. So now the hundreds have become 2. Okay, And the hundreds, we have to get the hundreds from 2 to 5. So what number added to 2 is going to give us 5? The answer is 3. And that is the answer to a question. 353. 147 plus 353 gives us 500. So you start on the right-hand side with the units, move across to the tens, and then the hundreds. Now, that looked a little bit messy, it is a good way of working it out, but it's a little bit messy. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll down and we're going to have a look at a different example. Okay, this time we have three hundred and seventy eight plus something equals five hundred. Just scroll down a bit further. Now this time round, we're not going to start at the units. We're going to start with the hundreds. Okay. But the hundreds over here, we got 378, and we've got 500. That does not mean we want to take three. Uh, sorry, want to get three and make it five immediately. We actually want this to become four. Why four? Because we've got numbers on this side over here. We've got 78. Okay. If that was 0, 0, then the 3, we just add 2 to it, becomes 5, and it's sorted. But that is not the way we're doing this, because we've got number 78 as well. So to get from 3 to 4, what do we do? We add 1. Okay. How about the 10s? We've got 7. Now again, we don't want to get the 7 to equal the 0, in other words, 10, we want the 7 to become 9. Now, to become 9, we have to add 2. In fact, I'm just going to rub that out and write it in yellow. Okay, We have to add 2. Okay. Now, the very, that was the 10s, the very last digit we have is the units. Now this one, because it's the very last one, the units, this one, we have to get this to equal 0. What number are we going to add? 
we're going to add 2. Let's write this down. 2. Uh, believe it or not, that is the correct answer. Now, so what did we do here? Let's just run through it one more time. We had number 378. Okay? Now, what we did was we made the 3 become 4. And to do that, we had to add 1. Okay? We got the 7 to equal 9. To do that, we needed a 2. The 8, that has to equal 10. For 8 to become 10, we needed 2. That is the answer. So until you come to the units, always pick one less than the actual number. Have a practice with both of these examples. They look a little bit complicated, but they're not. And I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. And then have a practice with a few questions.